Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 263. I would say this is halfway to Christmas on July 25th, which was always the way I thought it was, but it's not. It's not halfway to Christmas. We're a little bit, we're five months from Christmas. This meeting is recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. And that whole comment about Christmas, I think is a callback to last week. I don't know if it was before or after the meeting or during the meeting, but we're here for 263. What are we talking about? Um, what are we talking about? A uh, small surprise. We're going to talk about a 402 because yeah, we're going to have a 402 and then we're going to triage and then we'll take questions and comments if you have any of those kinds of things um, about them. I don't expect this meeting to go terribly long, um, but let's go ahead and uh, jump into 402. I don't think it's going to be terribly surprising. I have a question mostly for Bob, I think. Um, but I would love to have the rest of you comment on it. All right, 402, what is it? Uh, it's a release. I tossed out August 8th, because that's two weeks from now. It's like that Tuesday. Timing feels about right-ish. It seems to be about two months after the last one. I could on August 5th, but that would have been uh, a Saturday, which we try not to do those. Um, so anyway, I toss it out. What is it? It's a small set of fixes that have been blocking fire junk customers that came up, plus a couple of the embarrassing bugs from 402 that are uh, from 4. Oh, sorry, from Wix 4 that as more people adopt Wix 4, things that, you know, we really should have caught that. Um, just a couple of those bugs. There's really not much to 402. Um, it's just continuing down that path of, as we discussed before, if there are things that we think we need to do, We'll do them. We're trying to minimize these so that we can stay focused on Wix 5. Uh, the fix is already in develop or will be in develop in the next week. Um, the couple of the embarrassing bugs are going in. Um, so uh, those are going to develop. So they'll be in V5 first, and then we cherry pick them over to 402. Uh, this develop 402 branch already exists, so you can uh, see it uh, if you want. It is there. And uh, this will be coming out. And the only question I really have on this slide is, is August 8th the right date? I really just kind of drew that line in the sand out of nothing. Bob, thoughts? Um, it should work. I mean, you know, I, I've been doing most of the fixes. Yep. Um, just, you know, roughly, yeah, two weeks, yeah. I, I, found, I found it interesting that we were kind of hitting this, oh, it was about two months later. So it's like we pick up enough things in two months or something. I don't know if we'll keep doing that. Um, God, I hope not. I, I, I don't think so, but it's just kind of interesting that that's, you know, I, mean, I know we're going to have another set of fire giant customers coming, hopefully looking at it, but not before 402 is out. So we'll see. Anyway, interesting thing. Um, there's small fixes, honestly. Um and things like that. So that's kind of the the thing. I I think we'll talk about it next meeting as a hey, I you know, 402 is probably out at this point. That's probably the way it will work cuz I'll probably start early in the morning and have it mostly done by the meeting time or it'll be like kind of running in the background. So anyway, that's the plan for 402. Small bug fixes. Triage now, Bob? Triage for oh, now in Wix 5. Not now, I mean, of course, it's you know, it's the only thing left. Let's talk about the Wix uh, five bugs that we're looking at um, two weeks ago. All right, starting at the top, seven six one two system not supported exception. No data is available in this encoding. Um, this basically comes down to a bad exception or an unexpected exception coming out of .NET Core um, for a invalid encoding. You can go ahead and give this to me because um, we have some code that tries to catch this and tell you that the code page is wrong. That's what it's supposed yeah. to be telling you. Um, and the this exception is different with .NET Core. So just need to go put that, put the appropriate handling for this kind of thing in there so we get a better message. Because this will happen, it's expected um, and all that kind of stuff. So we need a good error message when someone does this because code pages matter inside MSI databases. So I'll take this in five. All right. But the fix in the end is what was discussed in this, which is um, you picked a character to put into your MSI that does not match the code page of the MSI. So while your Wix source code is UTF-8 and can handle anything, MSIs don't always work that way. So anyway. 
Uh, we'll, we'll get a better message there. Um, 7614, building MS build task requires building twice. References not restored correctly. Uh, yeah, this is MS build behavior. Yeah, this is why the dash restore switch exists. You have to, in MS build, you have to restore, stop that process, reload everything, and then build again. Yeah, you can't do this. I wish you could. I, I, I've tried to do this and it does not work. You have to do a restore and then a build as separate steps. This is an MS build thing. So yeah, that would be cool. Does not work. Does not work like as that. In, as in separate MS build invocations? Correct. Because what happens is you the, the restore brings down a whole bunch of files that then have to be imported, which requires shutting down MS build and then running again to get those imports. So the first time you run those imports are not resolved. The restore makes them available. You need to shut down that MS build instance and to start it up again so those, those things will now be resolved. That's my high level understanding of the issue. And the dash restore switch was added to MS build that does essentially that inside the XC. It, it does the restore and then it drops all of its data out of the memory and then it loads it all back up again and continues with the actual default task or the target that you asked. That's why MS build dash T restore is different from MS build dash restore. Right, right, right. That's I'm I'm seeing now why the .NET folks baked that into .NET build. Yes, and .NET build just yeah, and .NET build just does it for you inside build. Yes, because it it builds up a MS build instance, does a restore, throws it away, and then does a build again. Yep, yep. This is expected. Don't like it? Go take it with the MS build team. I don't like it either. I've I've tried to do this at my oh, targets as well. It's horrid. Yeah, it's horrid. I've tried to do this many times and it simply does not work. And if someone figures out how to do it, then please come inform me because I would love to know how to make this work. But this is not a Wix thing. This is an MS build thing. It's frustrating. Yeah. All right. Add support for non-SNI SSL certificates. Non-SNI. We don't support non-SNI. Okay. Oh, without using an SNI host. Okay. Uh, this is some sort of low level thing in certificates that I'm not quite certain of. Okay, under who has it? Yeah, set service configuration. Okay. For the develop 402 branch. Ah, well, that's wrong. They need to target the develop branch. Right. Um, but yeah, okay. Uh, I, yeah, we can give this person and they can put it in for five. Sounds like an interesting feature to go look at. Non SNI SSL certificates. I guess that's still a thing old school bound to your host number, I guess, right? Is that how it works? I don't know. I, I only have a bare working, barely working knowledge of that stuff from my time doing Azure things, but yeah, sure. As long as it's, it shouldn't be disruptive, so that would be good. Yeah. Cool. Uh, 7625, cannot build a Wix tool set with the Diffix app extension and a Wix library Wix project. I fixed the title of this because this is the important part. Um, yeah. Due to the way that the Wix tool set Diffix app brings in the funky, annoying Diffix app libraries that we don't own and we have to do all these funky things um, to deal with it, this is busted because you cannot have a library included in a library, which is exactly what this is doing. Um, so that's the issue. The fix I wasn't sure about. I had a couple ideas I want to kind of toss out here. And definitely if anybody in the chat has preferences, I had a couple on. One is to just update Diffix app to say, hey, if you're building a library project, don't include this element. That would be very straightforward. Okay. Sure. And that would be correct. Another thing would be more sweeping would be if building a Wix library, remove all Wix library elements um from the build so rather than having anybody that tries to do this to the project just do it for them so you're like hey you're building a library project we threw away all your library references or your wix library things um i wasn't sure if that was better or if it was or if we should do that in addition and warn with it basically hey we're throwing all these away because it's not supported when you do this uh, so then we do both we add the warning up front and then we or maybe it has to be an error. I don't know. We could add error warning, whatever, and then um of well, course add the code to defix to condition it out on library projects. 
the no the the diffic, diffic extension is already deprecated. It will be removed in Wix five. Yeah, that solves that. I yeah, you know, there's no nothing to do here. Um, and and it it so I have two conflicting thoughts. One is it should be possible to build a library that references a library, right? That it I, I don't want to. In this particular case, it doesn't work, but in general, it should. Do you agree with that? Um, I don't know. I don't remember where we landed on that. I thought the okay. answer was that you don't combine libraries, but maybe my memory's wrong. If your memory I, conflicts with that, then maybe I need to go back and recheck my no, <laughs> notes. I do not have a memory of, <laughs> of either direction. It was just more like, that should work, shouldn't it? Yeah, and well, it the, gets into really so. Let's say that worked in this case. Mm -hmm. You would bring in the Diffix app if you then included this Diffix app in the product that was consuming the Wix lib. You would then get the this Wix lib would be combined into your library one in this case, and then if you use library one plus you reference Diffix app in the product, which would actually be fairly normal because library needs it. Like that would be a normal thing to think. Right. If this included Diffix app, library one contain all the content. When library one was linked in with all of the content with the Diffix app again, then you'd get all these conflicts of the Diffix app right. being right. duplicated and you couldn't get out. You'd be like, ah, and, I'm stuck. And that was my that was my second feeling about it is the in Wix three it was more common. You could use a Wix lib to essentially hide your use of an extension. And that's not going to work in Wix four and later going forward because extensions are not just, you know, suppliers of data. They're, they're intimately involved at bind time, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah. So, you know, you, you can build a library out using an extension and it seems that should generally work to get the authoring, but that's not going to let you, you know, not reference the extension in the, the package project. So, I was kind of like, ah, hmm, yeah. Um, but so the problem is Diffix is dead. So, you know, I, I so I don't care about this particular scenario. Um, it, and there's, you know, the simple workaround. Don't use a library for this. Um, oh, no, no. The I'm, problem here is that you're getting it by default. That comes in because of the extension. You're getting what by default? The Wix extent by default. Referencing the Wix extension, the Wix library is being added for you automatically. Yeah, yeah, from MS Build. Right, from yes. MS Build. No, I understand that. Okay. But I'm, I'm, I'm saying I don't, I don't care about if you, if you don't care about Diffix, is there another scenario that you do care about, like Util? You know. Can, oh, can you those a, all work correctly. Yeah, no, those scenarios work. Yeah. But is that mm -hmm. just because of the the extra Wix lib that's needed? Yeah, it's because of the extra Wix lib and to fix that. It's weird. Okay. That's the weird case. Okay. Okay. Well, then. Diffix app being different creates the problems as right. is typical. Yeah. It creates yeah. all these problems. Right. <laughs> and then right. Microsoft dumped it. And so now we're carrying along this thing that creates all these problems well, that we can't fix. <laughs> I, you might recall I voted to you know, kill it in, v, in V4. Um, yeah. And now I wish I'd fought harder. Um, I, so, okay. Okay. So I'm back to officially not caring. This doesn't break any real scenarios and, and yeah. you know, I, I was concerned way back in the day that, you know, the diffix problem that we came up with this workaround for with the extra Wix libs was something that we were going to see more, um, and, and we have not seen it more. I see. Yeah, no, it certainly wouldn't be the pattern I would send people down either. Oh, God, no. no. <laughs> and this only is a problem if you bind files. If you don't bind files in your library, then you don't have this problem either. But binding files is pretty typical for a library because it has those advantages. So, Well, and again, that especially in V3, you know, you could do a lot with, with a Wixlib with bound files to hide your use of an extension. Right. So yeah. that's not going to work. So yeah, again, these are all edge of an edge of an edge. So yes, yes. 
Yes. All right. So I guess this is not a problem because it's obsolete. Um, otherwise, the fix probably would be to mark it to not include it in. So the library not to be included when being included into a library project. Right, right, right. Yeah, we 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 did that to make it easier than it was in V3. Yes, especially and, since the library now comes from a NuGet package, right? Right. It, it wasn't easier from the command line. You still have to do extra work from the command line. Right. Um, but, you know, since the majority of the cases is uh, expected to be from NuGet packages, package references, then it was easier that way. Yep. So We were, we were nice and we got punished for it. Yeah, well, didn't think all the way through to it's like, wait, really? Yeah, no, that's a problem. Yeah. So, all right. That's cool. the state of that one. That was funky, funky, funky. Uh, 7631, outdated warning message for upgrade code. Oh, yeah. I just was driving by and fixed this one. A couple places where the word product was still hanging out. And it was all in warnings, which I guess somehow I missed that. So they've been updated to now correctly refer to package because the error messages or the warning message, sorry, error messages seem fine. Is the warning message referring to it. the product upgrade code? You're like, what? There's no product upgrade code. You're like, yeah, no, it's package upgrade code before. Sorry. All right. Um, that leaves us with seven, six, three, eight pack star package. So bundles, I guess, name, dir, fails, and Wix four. Uh, Wix three, you could use package name attribute with an ending in backslash to put the package in a subdirectory. Ah, right. And Wix4 crashed the stead. Um, the alternative right now is you have to put the name of the file in there. Oh, Correct. And Wix4 crashes? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we shouldn't do that. What? Oh, now you tell me. We shouldn't crash. That was, <laughs> that was a joke. Oh, that was that bad. It uh, was a crash. Thank you. It was a crash. So, you know, at the very least, we shouldn't crash. But the functionality is, is you know, don't repeat yourself. Don't repeat yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Although a little bit tricky to discover. But if you forget that backslash, you end up oh, with not what you wanted. <laughs> but correct. Yes. That's the downside of it. But yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So you, I, I agree with you. Do you want to swing at that? Or... If you want to give us sure. this one of my little party bugs for me to pass through. I'll take a look. Okay. Yeah. It's a good thing to fix in five. Unless anybody else wants it in the chat. Like if anybody in chat's like, ooh, ooh, that bug, I know we're going a little fast. Sorry, I should be I should like I could pause, but I know chat's like five, ten seconds long sometimes. Yeah, if you pause yeah, after yeah. every issue, people will get bored. But if you're ever like, you know what? That doesn't sound too bad. I want to go work on that. Or ooh, that's one, you know, really catches my interest. Uh by all means, feel free to jump in and say, oh, I'll take that bug. Um, we don't have to take them. And if someone says, oh, I really want that bug, and then the only time I might be like, oh, you may not want that bug because it's harder than you think it is, and I might fight you off of it. But uh, we certainly, people want to jump in, they certainly can, especially something like this. Especially, well, especially when you know one of us goes, uh, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good sign. It's like, yeah, we really should do this the right way, but anyway. Right. All right, so... Uh, and you can say that anytime. If you come along later in chat and say, hey, I'd like number whatever, 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 then that'd be great. And we'll be happy to give it even as we move along. But Or you could also just post on the issue. Uh, that too. Actually, you're going to need to do that anyway for us to assign it to you. All right. Yeah. So I think that finishes issues for the day. I figured sure I was just going to go pretty smoothly today. Small number. Yeah, and small number. It's what it should be. It's going on. Uh, I think that's that. So if we go back, that leaves us up for questions, comments, things people want to talk about. Uh, other stuff going on. I don't think there's any real surprises right now. Um, Bob started on a few of his V5 functionality. I have not started on my V5 functionality yet. I've obviously been very heads down trying to get this other big thing done at Fire Giant, which has been taking all of my attention. Uh, so that's what I've been working on, working very hard along those lines. Uh, anything else people want to talk about? Um, we are currently slated to push out the 402, to release the 402, not to push out, to, to release the 402 in two weeks. But I think that will also be our next meeting, unless anything else pops up. That would be August 8th. Um, same sort of thing, same stuff going on. 
kind of feeling time here. Make sure I need to give people plenty of time to ask their questions. But I think that's pretty normal, right, Bob? Two weeks from now, August 8th? Sure. We're crossing a month boundary, so I have to be very careful to make sure I read my calendar correctly. Because um, that is definitely one of the things that will trip up my my date dyslexia. All right. Um, you said you had a question? I had a question. For me? The date. The oh. date of, oh, okay. of 402. Like, oh, okay. I asked Good. it. I didn't didn't have to study for that one. No, you did not have to study. Just had to make sure it fit uh, within your... Because you had most of the issues. And I yeah. have like two little ones that I just need to go through and write the test for. It's like, yeah, okay, whatever. So. Yeah. Um, can we add uh, a discussion of my third V5... Uh, what do you call it? Whip? Yep. For... Major upgrade, major upgrade default uh, cool. localization. Do you want to put that on for the eighth? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we will. Yeah, I'm we almost may. done with the default install folder. So yeah, I saw some of those things fly around. All right, cool. Bob's obviously making much more progress than I am right now, at least on things that are visible. Um. Okay. I think that's it. People are quiet in channel or in chat, so that's fine. I think that means that we're in a good spot. Um. Yeah, we'll be back in two weeks. There'll be a little 402 release, which will be very very minor. Um, continue to get people. Um, adopting, you know, getting on to Wix 4, all that kind of good stuff. Continue to see decent adoption. And uh, all right, that's all I get. So we'll be back in two weeks. A 402 build will be underway or completed or something very close to that. Uh, back here again, same time and same place. So until then, you guys take it easy. Bye. Bye.